Hello, welcome to podcast number 54 of Andy College Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Um, last week we were talking about, um, or the week before rather, we were talking about statues and figurines in the collection. Uh, didn't go into the Staffordshire one, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, just firstly, I'd like to uh, show you the um, catalogues that have come through last week or so. It was John McKenzie's there. There's plenty of nice stuff in John McKenzie's uh, catalogue there, some their autographs and things. Um, he's been going a long time. It's catalogue number 204, so there's a lot more to find there. And then Chris Saunders came out this week, uh, Corridor of Uncertainty, which is uh, a good boycott phrase there. But uh, again, Chris has got some lovely things in here, um, some nice signatures and whatever. Uh, lovely stuff, nice postcards. So some good stuff in these uh, catalogues, but obviously. Uh, some of them uh, do hold some good prices. There's a set of 1909 Australian signatures in there for £1,300-£1,200. So um, they do hold their value, the uh, good signatures. Um, so anyway, this week, just talk about the Staffordshire figures. Um, they do go, or well, they used to command quite a high price um, a few years ago. And this catalogue here from 2003 at Christie's shows you a Julius Caesar. Uh, flat back figure there for about £800 um, so they were they still do the originals uh, command a reasonable price over a £1,000 in most cases um, but I've been uh, um, I've got some some replica ones which um, I got for the purpose of the museum which is to show people what uh, it was about and what you could collect in the old days so Victorian flat backs uh, this one is uh, George Parr or supposedly George Parr um, they do come in different colourways. This is about what's about 10 to 12 inches high. This one, quite heavy replica, um, different colourway. This one's got a blue. He's got a blue blaze of this one, and a sort of terracotta coloured hat. Um, nice figurine. Um, as I say, they come in different colourways. Of uh, the one in the book there of Julius Caesar was with uh, just a plain blazer. So um, obviously, lots of different things to collect with those. This one's the Julius Caesar one, um, again with the um, blue blazer down this side here, and the same coloured hat as George Parr. They not generally come in a pair, George Parr and uh, Julius Caesar. Um, again, flat back there, so they didn't uh, paint the back of their figurines because they were um, on the mantelpiece facing the facing the wall. So all you got was the colour bit that side facing out to you. So um, they didn't waste their paint on them. Um, uh, painting the back of their figurines. This is another one, W.G. Grace. He's got a um, pink blazer there, whatever colour that means. But again, I've seen these in different colourways. He's got his uh, supposedly his MCC cap on there. So uh, that's quite light. That's not made of the same material as the other two. Um, but there's no indication of who made these figurines on the bottom but Staffordshire figures you'll generally say on well, Staffordshire where most of the pottery came from so there's your flat back there look so that will go to the mantelpiece or the wall above the mantelpiece and then you'll see that uh, uh, image in the front a few years ago if you got your Wisdom Cricket magazine Wisdom Cricket Monthly in there were advertised replicas of uh, this type of Staffordshire figure this one's a military batsman I'm not sure what regiment they would be, but um, uh, these ones actually got uh, colour on the back of them. I suppose they look a bit odd if they're just uh, coloured at the front. But they're quite nice. As a, I think that's a gentleman and a lady on there, but uh, that can't be with trousers on. So, uh, military batsman, that's quite a nice figurine, that one. Staffordshire figurine, copy. Um, and then there's a pair. This little pair here, quite a nice little pair. Of uh, batsmen, um, going Staffordshire's uh, half painting at the back there. Interesting. But again, I've seen these original ones in um, different colour tones, and they can command quite a bit of money, at least three or four hundred pounds for these sort. So it's nice to have a little replica one just to show what they were like in those days. So that's those ones. There's another couple here. That's a nice little. Um, yeah, batsman and bowler there. Now, this one's coloured all the way around, so this possibly 
stood on a table perhaps so you could see all the way around it again no indication of who made it on the back there but uh, Staffordshire figure is a Staffordshire figure um, next one here another one in that series um, not sure what they're hanging but a different colour again and coloured all the way around so no indication of who done it there's the hole there with the mould the mould um, quite a nice little figurine there um, yeah. I'm quite pleased with those as replicas for say in the Wisdom Cricket Monthly they're advertising those so they saw an opportunity for collectors and uh, they jumped in the big hole so anyway the other thing I've brought down today is um, the uh, Toby Jugs this one's um, Jack Hobbs the Surrey Boy I'm a Surrey Boy so that's quite uh, relevant for me got his bat and gloves on there which is quite nice this one's Stanley James Taylor is the designer and it's 733 they varied in um, numbers this one's 5,000 so quite a short edition for Toby Jugs they're generally 9,500 but um, this is the rarer one which is quite nice um, and then we've got Len Hutton celebrating his 364 so I imagine there's a few of these going around in Yorkshire this one is uh, 1,388 of 9,500 again by Stanley, Stanley James Taylor um, quite a nice one there for his uh, record score at the Oval in 38 there's the hole in the bottom there I don't think these come with little lids on some of the, the big Toby jugs they come with lids on don't they um, but um, quite a nice little um, item that one and then there's a WG Grace this one is again Stanley James Taylor 9500 this is 200 uh, 2012 this is a smaller version there's a larger version of this one which uh, I haven't got but um, don't necessarily need that one if you've got a small one but let's say if you collect them you, you want the big one as well so he's got his MCC cap on there and actually quite a nice quite a nice depiction of WG there um, I do quite like that one um, it's sort of encouraging me to get the bigger version but uh, I haven't seen one for a while that's WG and then we've got um, this is uh, reportedly to be um, Phil Mead a Hampshire cricketer this is called and it's to celebrate a hundred years of Southampton cricket uh, this is number 2011 of 5000 so not a particularly big um, edition five or nine it's five I think um, but again meant to be Phil Mead in his Hampshire cap there that's quite a nice figurine this was the first one I bought actually down in the New Forest so kept it down in the Hampshire area so um, that was my first Toby jug there's a few more about there's a I've seen a um, Don Bradman one that's made in Japan which is not particularly um, lifelike version of it but uh, of Don but, and there we are anyway that's the the um, Staffordshire figures and the Toby jugs there's plenty of other glass and all sorts of other things that I can show um, which are quite interesting um, so I hope you've enjoyed this one um, and I'll uh, see you on the next one cheers